Hello, welcome back. Hello, how are you today? We hope you're looking forward to the lesson. 今天是四十一课第一讲，在这一讲里边，我们要学习第四十一课课文《The Art Scholarship》艺术奖学金的第二部分。好，下面我们就来一起听一下这篇课文。The Art Scholarship, Scene Two. The same office the next day. At her desk. Of course, I'm very, very sorry, but I think you understand, my dear Miss Dietrich, that something was wrong from the very beginning. Walking up and down nervously. But didn't you say that you would not allow any race discrimination in your school? Who's talking of discrimination? I was speaking about the picture, about its artistic value. Of course, the trees and grass are not bad, but I never liked the old Negro woman looking at our American flag. There are some very wrong ideas in the picture. Is the idea of democracy and equal rights for all people wrong? Now, Miss Dietrich, you must stop talking like that. The committee decided not to give Nancy the scholarship just because the picture was not worth it. But you know very well that the committee changed its mind when it learned that Nancy was coloured. In my opinion, it was quite right. I must warn you, Miss Dietrich, that your sympathy for that little Negro girl is going a little too far. I will send for the girl, and you must tell her about the decision. I am rather busy. Looking at her watch. I must leave you. Goodbye. Alone. What shall I do? What can I say? Enter Nancy and her mother. Good morning, Miss Dietrich. This is my mother. This is Miss Dietrich, mother. Hello, Nancy. How are you, Mrs. Johnson? Thank you, Miss Dietrich. I'm so glad to meet you. My little girl always talks to me about your kindness to her. Sit down, Mrs. Johnson. Come here, Nancy. Would you like to hear my speech, Miss Dietrich? I've learned it by heart. You won't need your speech today, Nancy. Completely taken aback. Oh, why not? I really don't know how to tell you. You see, Nancy, you're not going to get the award. Oh, Miss Dietrich, I'm not going to get the scholarship. Here is a letter from the committee. Gives the letter to Nancy. Read it. Begins to read. The committee has decided that Miss Nancy Lee Johnson is not to have the award of the Artist Club. There have never been any coloured students at our art school, and it might not be convenient to have one now. Of course, we think Miss Nancy Lee Johnson is very talented, but it is impossible to honour her with the award. Nancy lowers her head. I'm so sorry. But my speech was about about America, about liberty and justice for all. Cries softly. My poor child. Wants to take Nancy in her arms, but the latter breaks away and hides her head in her mother's lap. Don't cry, Nancy dear. Don't cry. Oh, mother, let's go away. Let's go back to the south. I would rather have them kill me as they killed Roy. What is she talking about? Who is Roy? Her brother. He was murdered by the Ku Klux Klan back in 1928, when we lived in the South. That was one reason why we moved up to the North a few years ago. And now look what has happened. Come, mother, let's go. Wait, Nancy Lee, listen to me. In this world of ours. We still have to fight for democracy. Those who would refuse you this award don't know what democracy means. We must fight to see that no one is refused his rights because of race or colour. 
Lift up your head, Nancy Lee, and smile at me. You and I have many friends, people who believe in a better America. We must get together and fight, fight with our work, with our books, with our art. Then we shall make America a land of true liberty and justice for all. Do you understand me, Nancy? Yes, Miss Dietrich. I find to see that those things which happened to my mother and me won't happen any more. Yes, Nancy. We will. 好，请大家用英文来回答我们提出的一些问题。Question one: Why did the committee change its mind and not give Nancy the award? Why did the committee change its mind and not give Nancy the award? The committee changed its mind when it learned. That Nancy was coloured. Question two: What did Miss Ogden think about the committee's decision? What did Miss Ogden think about the committee's decision? Miss Ogden thought the committee's decision was quite right. Because there were some very wrong ideas in the picture. For instance, an old black woman looking at the American flag. So Nancy's picture was not worth the award. Question three: How did Miss Dietrich feel about the decision? How did Miss Dietrich feel about the decision? Miss Dietrich was strongly against the committee's decision. She thought it was completely wrong for the committee to change its mind simply because Nancy was coloured. Question four. How did Nancy feel when she was told about the decision? How did Nancy feel when she was told about the decision? She was completely taken aback. She saw more clearly than ever that liberty and justice in the United States were not for all. Question five: Can you make a comparison of Miss Ogden and Miss Dietrich? Can you make a comparison of Miss Ogden and Miss Dietrich? They are completely different characters. Miss Ogden is hypocritical, cold-hearted. And prejudiced against the black people, Miss Dietrich is an honest, warm-hearted, and sympathetic with the sufferings of the black people. That's all for the questions. Now let's look at some of the more difficult language points. 好，回答问题就做到这儿。下面又到了分析课文中一些疑难问题的时候了。好，我们先来看一下七十九页上的一句话。Didn't you say that you would not allow any race discrimination in your school? Didn't you say that you would not allow any racial discrimination in your school? 这句话的中文意思是，你不是说过在你的学校里不允许有种族歧视的现象出现吗？这是一般疑问句的否定结构。句中虽然有否定词出现，但是不表示否定。Miss Dietrich 用这种一般疑问句的否定结构。
表示对 Miss Ogden 出尔反尔的话表示惊讶。在英文当中，这种结构常用来表示提问者的惊讶、怀疑、邀请或者赞叹等等。好，下面我们来看一些例子。Don't you believe me? Don't you believe me? 你难道不相信我吗？这里表示一种惊讶。Don't you mind my pointing out your mistakes? Don't you mind my pointing out your mistakes? 我指出你的错误，不介意吧？这句话表示一种怀疑。Isn't it a lovely day? Isn't it a lovely day? 这天气多好啊！这个一般疑问句的否定结构。表示赞叹。Won't you come in? Won't you come in? 请进来好吗？这里的疑问句否定结构呢，表示邀请，它加强邀请的语气。请大家注意，以上的 don't、isn't。Won't 是否定式的缩写，它常用在非正式文体中，但是在正式文体中常常把 not 放在主语之后。比如，第一句话在正式文体中就成了 Do you not believe me? Do you not believe me? 后面几句也一样。另外，在回答一般疑问句的否定结构时，我们要特别注意，因为它和中文的习惯很不一样。好，下面请大家看例句。Don't you believe me? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Don't you believe me? Yes, I do. No, I don't. 你难道不相信我吗？不，我相信。是的，我不相信。在这里边 ，yes， 翻成中文时成了不，而 no 却译成了是的。Don't you mind my pointing out your mistakes? Yes, I do. No, not at all. Don't you mind my pointing out your mistakes? Yes, I do. No, not at all. 我指出你的错误，你不介意吧？不。我很介意，是的，我毫不介意。在这里 ，yes 也是译成不，而 no 却译成是的。汉英语言上的这种差别能说明一个什么问题呢？那就是英文比较注重句子内部结构的逻辑一致性。也就是说，如果主句是肯定式，前面就要用 yes； 如果主句是否定式，前面就要用 no。而中文则更注重于意思本身是否表达清楚了。好，下面我们再来看一下七十九页上的另外一句话 ：The committee decided not to give Nancy the scholarship. The committee decided not to give Nancy the scholarship. 这句话的中文意思是，委员会决定不给 Nancy 奖学金。Not 是否定做宾语用的动词不定式短语
，而不是否定前面的谓语动词 decide。在英文中，当 not 否定非谓语动词，像不定式短语或者 ing 形式及其短语的时候，只要将 not 放到非谓语动词前面就可以了。请大家看下面例句。We must remember not to be satisfied with what we have achieved. We must remember not to be satisfied with what we have achieved. 我们必须记住，不能满足于已取得的成绩。这里边的 not 否定做宾语用的不定式短语。To be satisfied with what we have achieved. He told me not to lend Henry any money, as he never paid the money back. He told me not to lend Henry any money, as he never paid the money back. 他告诉我不要借钱给亨利。因为亨利过去从来不还钱。这里边的 not 也是否定后边的动词不定式短语 to lend Henry any money. For a long time, air was thought of as not being a kind of matter, that is, not having weight and occupying space. For a long time, air was thought of as not being a kind of matter, that is, not having weight and occupying space. 很长一段时间，空气未被认为是一种物质，也就是说，它没有重量，也不占有空间。这句里边的 not 否定做主语补语的。I N G 短语 ，being a kind of matter. Not having finished my work, I was not allowed to go home. Not having finished my work, I was not allowed to go home. 由于我没完成工作，所以。不准回家。Not 否定做状语的现在分词短语。Having finished my work. Can you think of anything not mentioned in this lecture? Can you think of anything not mentioned in this lecture? 你能考虑一下，在这个讲座中没有提到的内容吗 ？Not 否定做后置定语的过去分词短语 ，mentioned in this lecture。最后，我们再来看一下第八十页上的两句话。You must tell her about the decision. I must leave you. 你必须把这个决定告诉他。我的走了。这两句中的 must 都是情态动词，做必须讲。它和 have to 必须、不得不意思相近，但是两者有细微差别。表示主观上的必须，一般用 must。迁就客观的必要，一般用 have to。表示命令的时候，只能用 must。而表示习惯动作的时候，一定要用 have to。好，请大家看下面的几个例句。I must leave。我的走了。Must 用于主观上的必须。I have to go now, or I'll miss the train. 我现在不得不走了，否则我会误车
have to 表示客观上的必要。You mustn't speak to your mother like that. 你别那样跟你母亲说话。这里是命令的口气，不能用 have to 的否定式。The children have to go to school every day. 孩子们的每天上学，这种表示习惯上的必要，不宜用 must 代替。好，这一讲就学到这儿了，请大家课后一定要复习所学过的内容。Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye bye.